Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rudy G. I'm right here showing you the Rude Dude reviews of... Let's see. We got any yeah. drum roll. We do not have any drum roll, but can we get a... Alright everybody, so I'm back. Rudy G doing the Rude Dude reviews. That's right, we are back. We are back. All right, so let's open up this big giant box that I've never, that I've been waiting for like crazy and to come in the mail from Australia. The land down under. Kind of making a lot of noise. It's upset because that is really loud. Um, let's not worry about that. Let's begin the unboxing here. So, in this box is six, I believe, boxes. Box number one. Number two, let's see. Stuff in there. Box number three. Number five. And box number six. Oh, that big box over there. Okay, so let's just go for it. I'm like a little nervous. I'm like sweating. It's like really cold outside, but. <clears throat> yeah, it's cold outside. <laughs> Nice and warm in here. We just got a uh, heater for the house, which is very exciting. Very necessary, very exciting. Okay, oh my gosh, so this is the first box of six, and I just saw them, but, <laughs> but I don't really know what they are at all whatsoever. It is a mystery box. First one we have Stitch with a ukulele. Oh, there we go. Stitch with a ukulele. A little bit of glare in there. And this is from Disney, Lilo, and Stitch. He looks kind of cool in there with his ukulele. These are some of the other Lilo and Stitch. A lot of people like Lilo and Stitch. He's very exciting because he's so cute. Super unique character. Second in box number one is Elaine with a sombrero from Seinfeld, the popular show. And I don't know if she's dancing or if she's just like, what? It's a sombrero. You know, maybe she likes sombreros. So here's some of those characters. And that's the corner where Jerry lives, up over the restaurant they hang out, something like that. So that's number two from box one. Number three, we have, oh, I wanted this one. Oh, it's Elvis Presley. And is this the comeback special? Yeah. Nice, I was just thinking of Elvis. I always love Elvis. I always think of him. Um, probably gonna definitely keep this one because this is where he came back. I've also wanted a Jailhouse Rock. So, Elvis comeback special from 1968. But it's contemporary. Another Seinfeld. We have the original Jerry Seinfeld. 
on stage doing his comedy routines because that's what he's good at. He is so good at that. It got him a TV show. <laughs> so the original Jerry. Yay. Number five, Funko is... Ooh, cool. Glow in the Dark, Black Panther, Neck Strike. Oh, that's cool. It's got a special edition sticker. It's got Glow in the Dark. Oh, I wonder... Oh, man. Oh, he's big. He's, like, really big. Like, let's just compare sizes real fast. So there's Jerry, but this this mech suit looks like a real suit on a bigger carry, a bigger body. Wow, that's cool. So number five is Black Panther Glow in the Dark Avengers Mech Strike Special Edition. Cool. This one is a Peter Pan. 1965. No, 65th year anniversary. So we got Peter Pan. He looks kind of pissed. Don't piss him off. He can fly and battle. All right, we got some 65th anniversary collection characters there. I am not mad for Peter getting Peter Pan. Uh, this kind of suits my youthful essence of being a, <laughs> you know, a like young at heart, let's just put it that way. Okay, so that was our first punk Funko box from Pop Culture. And it has Peter Pan, Black Panther, Jerry, original stand up, Elvis 1968 comeback special, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, Penny Lane with a sombrero. Being done in San Diego, um, sombrero, it's pretty cool. Oh, we got more. I'm like opening them backwards because I can see them. But it's not going to break my heart. Oh my gosh, I got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character. I got Razar. Raz. <laughs> Razar, I, I said it right. This guy is pretty cool looking. He's mutated from the ooze, most likely. He looks like a werewolf kind of character. This is the back, oh, this is the side. The back. Razar, cool. I don't know about this character. I don't know what it's worth, but I will be posting from uh, on edit uh, add the price to that to each one so I'm good at it oh no oh no I got stitched but his ear is bent oh no his ear it's 3D so this is Lilo and Stitch Pride Stitch oh cool so I got another Lilo and Stitch but this is a Pride version Oh, he's cool looking. Look at that. This is a guy to be proud with. Stitch. All right. That was number two. From box number two. Box number three. Oh, I wanted this one. It's Jerry with a puffy shirt. It doesn't have... I actually like that episode a lot. I, it doesn't have a sticker on it, which I'm kind of bummed out about because I know it's like a special But no sticker, but it is that special Jerry with a puffy shirt. That's very special So that's cool. Oh, who's next? Who's next from the Jerry verse? Oh, it's George George Costanza in the house. Oh my gosh. These are all such relatable characters to me. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So we also have another Lilo and Stitch. This is Stitch, but it has a special edition sticker and it's a diamond edition. So there is 
a lot of you know, crystalline essence on the top. Diamond edition. Stitch number five of box two. Number six from box two is a special edition. It's Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy. Now I have to listen to Fallout Boy. So he's one of these guys. That's cool. He looks like he's like he's wearing eye makeup. It's okay. Uh, he's a bass player, so this probably could be uh, special to somebody who's really into Fallout Boy. Now that was box number two. Box number three. Here we go. Okay, I, I keep opening them up from the tops, but I'm not looking. I think I saw some Seinfeld, I'm not sure. I'm not mad at Seinfeld. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got a special edition Harry Potter. Harry. Oh wow, this is really cool. Oh my goodness. He's got a broom. Looks like a broom. Is that a broom? What is that? What's that? Yeah, it's a broom. Quidditch broom. Harry Potter, the original, the OG, number 51. Okay, that's the first from box number three. Second, oh, another Elvis. <gasps> the Jailhouse Rock. That's what I wanted. I wanted the Elvis Jailhouse Rock. Oh, look at that. I just love how Elvis sings, you know, he's this priceless uh, entertainer. Nobody sings like that guy. Nobody has the same sex appeal as him with the voice and just, I melt to that voice. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing something that says X-Men on it. Oh no, it is Gambit with a little kitty cat. That picture, so. I've never seen this. I'm like doing it through the camera. Oh. The boxes, by the way, are all like in really excellent condition. There's some more X-Men characters. Of course, I'd like some of those. I'm a big X-Men fan. So there's our Gambit with Kitty. All right. I don't know whose cat that is. <laughs> okay, all uh, right. We got a Parks and Recreation. Big Apple collection no big apple collection com exclusive with the special edition sticker as well ben wyatt with looks like a baseball bat or is that a carrot i'm not sure is that a it's parks and Rex. it's probably a cone a, a street cone i'm not sure which episode this is from i like his hair I don't remember the character Ben Wyatt having cool hair like that, but I don't really know who Ben Wyatt is. I have to watch now Parks and Rec now. So that was pop, uh, pop number four from the third Funko Pop Pop. Of course, I'm gonna love these later. Next we have, oh, Cherry Coke. Oh my gosh, it's like all the ones that I wanted are like arriving. Oh my gosh, I love Cherry Coke. If you look in the fridge, there's Coca-Cola. Cherry Coke's like, you know, for special occasions. <laughs> when you're really feeling that Cherry Coke. I like that it's a number 88 symmetrical number. Let me check him out. He's uh, got a cherry. He's Coke can. Let's see what his feet look like. Oh, he's wearing sneakers. Just like Cherry Coke should. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, that is just cool. I have Alfred E. Newman from Mad. Yeah. Yeah, Alfred. Man, they somebody read my mind. <laughs> Anybody remember this guy? <laughs> All right. Well, he says, what? Me worry? Right? Why me? This is like 
the guilty side of me buying all these Funkos. Doing what me worry? Uh, I'm not in trouble. I'm not doing anything bad. <laughs> Just trying to start a new hobby. Collecting Funko Pops. And um, she coming on so many that I actually, that are like right up my alley. Elvis and Alfred Newman and Coca-Cola. Okay, I keep opening them up from the top. <laughs> So, ah, but I'm not really no, registering what they're, oh, this is a heavy one. What is this? It says it's the child. Which child is it? This is from the Star Wars Mandalorian. The child. Oh, this is the child. Okay, he's in his little container. He's in the backpack. Oh, this is cool. What? You know, I originally thought like the, the child's character, Grogu or Baby Yoda, whatever you'd like to call him, would kind of freak me out with his black eyes. You know, like being in the collection, I'd be like looking at him like, those black eyes and kind of creep me out. But no, he's totally, he's very cute. Very cute. Look, he's got like pink eyeliner. That's a picture. Sorry about the glare. And that's him from the side. The child. So this is Funko. Okay, you know what? Let's just give myself a round of applause. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? You know what can I say? All right. Okay, so next up, ooh, I've seen this one before. Oh, this is so cool. It's a Spider-Man Miles Morales from Gamerverse, which I believe is GameStop. But for just a video game, from the video game. But look, he's upside down and he's, he's pretty cool. He's upside down and he's wearing earmuffs and a, and a, like a sock hat. All right, so I like that graphic in the background. Oh, he is cool looking upside down. Right on, and it's got a special edition sticker. So that's two out of three boxes so far. Uh, okay, we got Elaine in a dress. And sandals? I'm not sure. Are those sandals? No, she's not wearing sandals. What kind of shoes are those? You know, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, what episode is this from? Anybody want to tell me? Uh, but he, she's Elaine. I like her glasses. There's a joy and a wonderment to those glasses. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. Let's see the print work. Oh, the print works really cool. She's going to hold a coffee cup. Oh, this is cool. Um, you know what? I'm not mad at you, Lane, for being you, Lane, you know? You dance funny. It's okay. Who do we got here? We have Taka, which is also a Ninja Turtle character. Cool. He's not like any special. He's kind of, oh, he's like a snapping turtle. Taka, the snapping turtle. I don't like him because he's ugly looking. But not like ugly, ugly, he's cute. And I love the Ninja Turtles um, because it seems to be the Ninja Turtles are awesome because they do everything. Everything that can possibly be done in a science fiction comic book kind of story is, is, is totally possible in the, in the, um, the Ninja Turtle universe, you know? So thank you. Um, thank you, you guys, for for enjoying, I mean, for creating the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The world needs you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, so that's pretty good stuff. Not so bad. All right, next up we have a DJ, Khaled. And he says, we the best. All right, DJ Khaled. 
with a microphone, so I guess he's also an MC and not just the DJ. This is kind of cool. It's got a disco vibe. It's got a club life vibe. He looks like people I've seen at shows. So this is from The Rocks. So this is a musical character, DJ Khaled, who's a real person. All right, and now we have Ryan Howard from The Office. And it's a special edition. It looks like he's on his phone. I think Ryan Howard is like the guy that looks at the camera a lot and smiles because he kind of, you know, he's hip. He's hip and young and stuff. Scranton, Scranton. Pennsylvania, that is the office. All right. And let's see, I mean, there's a lot of TV show stuff in here. But this came from uh, Australia, so what's trippy about that is that, uh, you know, I see unboxings from Australia for the, 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 pump, the, the Funko mystery box and, um, they have no idea who Seinfeld is <laughs> or, the, or The Office, UK pop collectors. You know, I've been just so excited waiting for the box to come that like watching, you know, like wondering which ones I'm going to get, you know, wondering if they're very random. Um, so on the advertisement for pop culture online, popculture.com, it says 2022 uh, warehouse to public. So now the sticker we saw earlier says warehouse to public 2021. So we're getting newer pops, which is cool. Because it's a, we don't really know what we're getting. And that's, the, that's what's really exciting. It's like uh, Christmas, right? So this is a Star Wars character. Oh, from the Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, it's the Mandalorian with Grogu. How cute. Well, he's got the baby with him and no helmet. So this is where, you know, he's kind of stripped himself of the helmet at this point in the story. And this is, you know, very savable. I mean, I'm, the last thing I want is, you know, a new Star Wars movie Funko, you know? That's just, it would break my heart. It's just, people are trying to sell them. I'm like, I feel bad because I don't want one. <laughs> I didn't like the new trilogy. Okay, just a second. Cheers. All right, next up is a character, Young Blood. It's Young Blood from Young Blood. I don't know this character, but it looks like he's wearing. Um, da 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 da. You know the. Uh, wire, barbed wire around his face. He's got blushing cheeks. He's got cool looking eyes. I like his eyebrows. He's got a bow and arrow and some shoes. I like the shoes. Oh, he's like an Icarus or a Cupid. Young Blood. From Young Blood. Okay. I like the whole like rose petal stuff. He probably makes people fall in love. And what ensues? Hmm. How cool is that? Okay, Youngblood. I like it. I like how cool that character looks. That character just has a cool look and he's a, he's a, he's an odd dashing uh, Cupid type character, I guess. Looks like Dwight Schrute from the office wearing his basketball mask, such as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in sports history, as I know it. I'm not really much of a sports, but when I was in LA, it was all Lakers all the way, and they had the best team, and they were the best, except, you know, there was always the rivalries with the, the Bulls and the Celtics. Larry Bird and Magic. Uh, Magic and Michael Jordan. All right, special edition, Dwight Schrute. Look at that, playing ball. He's playing ball. He's got a cool graphic. I can't really see that, read it. You can see how long this is running on my phone. <laughs> All right, Dwight Schrute. 
with basketball and face masks. Ooh, a lot of TV pops. Another Fallout boy, Pete Wentz, who is obviously, is he the bass player? Oh my gosh, was the other playing guitar or bass? No, I don't know, I'll have to watch this again. I will. So, is it Fallout boy? I have to listen to them. I like the graphics. They have like symbols above them. I like the graphic. He's pretty cool. I gotta check out that Fallout Boy now and listen to them and see what's, you know, if I recognize any of it as good or if I don't like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll really like it. Next one we have was Weapon Hex from Infinity War. Looks like Hex looks like a magic Wolverine with the claws. Sorry about the glare, you guys. I'm just it's late at night. It's Friday night. Oh, and it's a bobblehead. Look at that. Oh, we can't do it now. But it is a limited edition sticker. Weapon Hex. Look at that, it's like a mixture between Wolverine and Scarlet Witch. And these are some of the other Weapon Hex characters. Weapon Hex, cool. I mean, that, that the outfit is just cool looking. Pardon me. That outfit looks good. Too much glare. Sorry about the glare, you guys. I'm killing you. Ooh, Halloween just passed and I get Michael Myers. He's gonna get ya. Michael Myers. There he is. It's got the graphic, the movie graphic on it. Good looking. Good looking. Okay. We are running a bit long, but we are at the last, the very end of the line here. Later on, I'll tally how much uh, the box is worth compared to how much I paid for it. I had originally paid $214, give or take 20 cents, literally. And, um, And I've seen how, you know, people most most of the time actually come up a bit and get what they get things that they like and that they want to help them fill their collections, but also to, um, but also to just to have the value, you know, because you're getting a crazy value and the mystery part is like the Christmas part. It's like you don't know what somebody gets you, right? <laughs> okay, so last box, box. Number six. So I got box number six, and number one from six is we a Pokemon. Ooh, it's a horsey Pokemon. Oh, look at that! It's cool. Oh, by the way, all these boxes are in amazing condition for being. Uh, from overseas. This looks like it has a background picture. Looks like, that's cool. Pokemon. This is my first Pokemon Funko ever. All of these are my first Funkos ever. <laughs> these are all new and so far the only duplicate wasn't even a duplicate. It was a diamond edition stitch and a regular stitch with ukulele. So I think they're both with ukulele. So we got Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Oh wow, you're reading my mind. Look at that. Look at how cool she looks. Looks cool. Okay, Alice from the 65th anniversary edition from Disney. Yeah, throw a party. Yeah, she's cool looking. That was cool. Okay, so, all right, we're almost at the end, home stretch. 
Okay, I was just, I just say, you say his name and it comes up. Larry Bird. And this is an NBA exclusive and a special edition here. It's got the NBA numbers on it. I don't know what that means. But look at that, it's Larry Bird. I was just in Massachusetts. Larry Bird. All right, I got us. Uh, I was just talking about Larry Bird. <laughs> oh, this is nice and heavy. We got a pop movies. It looks like it's a Jurassic Park, but not just that, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, and it's heavy. Goodness gracious, the lighting here. Sorry, this is killing me. Anyway, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Rawr. Gonna get you with his little tiny arms. <laughs> okay. Uh, pop number five out of six. Okay, so we have the, the Predator. And this Predator looks like he's all the same color. So it might be something special, I'm not sure. But there he is. The Legend, The Predator. Maybe all the same color. So who knows if this is worth anything or if it's worth something. We'll be pleasantly surprised to find out. Last of the bunch, oh my gosh. It's all like almost over already. I just, I'm like really trying to make it last forever. But okay, uh, now we have Stitch Stitch. Just plain old, good old Stitch. Just all by himself, being cute. We've seen this one before. He's so darn cute that this is obviously a score because he's so cute. Look at those shiny eyes, shiny nose. Oh yeah, so cute I can eat it up. All right, everybody. So uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, boxes in a second. I hope you enjoy the video so far. I'm running really long, but if you got nothing better to do and you're like me waiting for your, you know, uh, mystery, bo mystery box from pop culture, um, pop culture, then you might watch this and enjoy it. And let's see what kind of value we came out with and talk to you then.